Hello, my name is Winnie Messens. I'm a scientist working at EFSA in the field of biological hazards. Today, I will talk to you about Escherichia coli or E. coli. E. coli are common bacteria in the gut of humans and warm-blooded animals. In fact, they are part of our normal bacterial flora. Most E. coli strains have beneficial functions. For example, they may prevent the establishment of harmful bacteria in our intestine. However, there are also pathogenic E. coli. This means that these can cause human illness. And among these pathogenic E. coli is one group of E. coli strains that are capable of producing toxins. And this group of strains is known as virocytotoxin producing E. coli or shiga toxin producing E. coli, better known as VTEC or STEC. Infection in humans with VTEC usually leads to mild to bloody diarrhea. However, also more severe complications can occur, which may potentially even lead to kidney failure. In 2011, 9,500 human cases were reported in the European Union, of which 56 dead cases. 2011, however, was an exceptional year. You may remember the many news reports about a large outbreak in Germany, which was caused by fenugreek seeds imported from Egypt. The strain that caused this outbreak is, was a rare strain. People usually get infected by consumption of contaminated food, contaminated water, or also may contract the infection by contact with infected animals and close contact with infected humans. Now in Europe, among animals and foodstuffs, VTEC was most commonly found in cattle and also in bovine meat. VTEC was also found on vegetables and fruits and also on dairy products made from raw milk. Now, what is the role of EFSA in order to protect you from this pathogenic VTEC? EFSA monitors the presence of these bacteria in different foods. Also, EFSA conducts, conducts some investigations, like investigating which VTEC strains are pathogenic to humans, which was the source of an outbreak, and also investigating the role played by different foods in causing human disease. Now, what can you do in order to protect yourself from these pathogens? It, it, is, it is advised that you refrigerate your foods. It is also advised to wash your hands and also the vegetables and fruits and the cutting boards and knives when preparing food. And at last, also cook your meat, in particular minced meat, thoroughly.